Greetings, YouTube. Alcohol is a perfectly legal substance in most of the world. Um, and even where it's not illegal, I'm sure that you could acquire it without much difficulty. It's remarkably easy to make. In the last couple of months, two or three months, I guess, I've seen two different pieces of technology that allow someone to tell if a drug has been placed into a drink, be it alcoholic or non-alcoholic. One was a glass that detects it, it's got a built-in sensor, and the other one was a small device, kind of looks like a uh, glucose meter. I've got one, the one I was sitting right here, um, which you just dip into your drink and that tells you if a drug's been placed in it. Um, and I can see that being particularly useful in a club environment or a party environment, um, even if it's a, even if it's a, you know, a, a dry site where there is no alcohol involved, um, you would be able to detect if someone put something into juice or soda or something like that. But in both cases, when I when I when I, when I looked at these and I read the little tech pieces about them because they were both from tech sites, um, I frequent many different tech blogs. Um, doesn't seem to occur to the creators of either of these devices, and I believe that they were invented separately by different groups. Um, the handheld device that you put into the ring actually seemed to be a much better price point um, and much uh, much more likely to be used by someone because you can carry it with you. It seems much more convenient than having a glass that can, can detect these things, even though the glass was like kind of like those red plastic ones. The idea, I basically guess, basically being it would be a disposable device. You'd pour the thing in there, if the drug went in, it would change color, that kind of thing. I still think that the device you carry with you would be better. Um, and not to mention that polluting the environment with plastic. Um, and in both cases, it doesn't seem to occur to either of the inventors that alcohol, a perfectly legal substance, is a date rape drug. Alcohol itself, if used in large enough quantities, will render a person incapable of granting legal consent for sex. It can even render you to the po to the point where you will be blackout drunk. Well, you will not be aware of your surroundings, even though you could be semi-conscious. And it can make you be blackout drunk to the extent that you are unconscious, completely. You are just a bag of noodles. I have seen more than one person that drunk. I myself have been blackout drunk. It's one of the reasons I haven't drunk since I was 22. I really liked alcohol. Um, I just can't quite figure out how that gaping hole in this model of defending oneself has been ignored by people. If you're creating devices to help protect people from being drugged. I'm all for that. I think it's a great idea. I would love that this these items did not have to exist. I would love for the idea that there would be no one ever drugging someone else's drink or spiking their food or something in an attempt to render them incapable of granting legal consent so that for the purposes of having sex with them. I would think that would be awesome if that didn't have to happen. But the situation is that there are people in the world that will drug others for the purposes of getting sex, which is um, sad and depressing and uh, just makes me weep for our species it is an attack against our collective humanity but alcohol itself is a drug and many people don't seem to think of it that way my grandfather was an alcoholic an abusive violent alcoholic my father is an alcoholic though sober now but when he was drinking he was an abusive aggressive alcoholic It's a drug, folks. And people use it as drugs. And people use it to get what they want. All perfectly legal. And it just baffles me that, that this technology, while very useful and helpful, is kind of ignoring that big hole that we should never be letting the people that we know drink themselves to that state without someone there to help them make it home. And that if you're an alcoholic, 
You should be aware you're putting yourself at severe risk. I'm not victim blaming here. The reality is you're taking a drug that can make you render, render you unconscious. And you should be aware of that fact. I place the blame squarely on the shoulders of the, of, of the aggressor. Always have and I always will. One of the things in life that will still make me clench my jaws and rage and occasionally pound my desk in fury is those that blame the survivors of sexual assault. Don't, don't ever do that in my presence. Alcohol's a drug. And people need to know that. And they seem to forget it. And it saddens me and it confuses me. And I think I'm gonna end this before I uh before I start to cry.